Good evening and welcome to the Olympic Stadium here in Azerbaijan, ahead of the Euro 2020 quarterfinal between England and Scotland. Now these two teams drew 1-1 in the group stage, but the bookies have England as the slight favourites to progress here tonight. Now to get a flavour of the atmosphere back home, let's uh, cross live now to Ernest Topbottom in London. And uh, Ernest, are the fans behaving themselves? No, of course not, mate. Uh, the Scots have invaded with Agus, and the English fans are chanting, go back to your side of the wall. Hi hey guys, I'm Ozzy Billen, and welcome to the quarterfinals of Euro 2020. It is England versus Scotland. You couldn't, we well, could make it up, but you couldn't make it up. And it is going to be a very, very big game. So the other quarterfinal there, Belgium, Portugal, that'll happen after us. And if we go back a day, we can see that Germany knocked out Denmark an extra time and Croatia fairly comfortably through against Turkey. So Germany, Croatia, and then two of these four teams will be the semifinals of Euro 2020. Let's go and have a look and see the team that we're sending out against Scotland. Now, of course, we drew with them 1-1 in the group stage and we do have a few tired players after our uh, our game against um who do we play in the oh ukraine wasn't the round of 16 so tyrone mings alexander arnold luke shaw who would have been rested anyway Jaden sancho and phil foden are all getting a rest for this one so that means our starting lineup is pickford in goal Chilwell, stones maguire and reese james as the back four ward prowse and henderson in midfield as they have been the entire tournament sterling and Grealish are going to provide the width Harry Kane, we're going to try him as a shadow striker, and we're going to have Tammy Abraham up top, who did get a goal earlier in the tournament. It might have even been against Scotland that he get the opening goal, um, or our only goal, I should say. So that's the team, and um, well, let's hope it's uh, good enough to get past the Scots. So here we go. They're expecting a 4-4-2 out of them. It's Villain versus Clark, the <laughs> battle for the ages. John McGinn's in their side. Mc McTominay. I mean, it's not a bad team, is it? Tierney and Robinson as fullbacks are very strong. Um, Ross McCrory, who, of course, we had. He was captain at Sheffield Wednesday for us for a bit, wasn't he? He's playing centre-back for them. Um, what do we want to say to this? What do we want to say to this? I fully expect you to win the match. Keep playing. Play your game, you'll win. Let's go with that, I suppose. I've never really, and I know I say this every game, I've never really nailed down the best way to do a team talk to this mob. Oh, the national anthems. Uh, I mean, it might just be a little bit, you know, an Australian trying to motivate an English team. It usually wouldn't go well, I would imagine. <laughs> but here we go. McBurney, of course, got the goal for them in the group stage against us. But the goal that they scored was very, very sloppy from a set piece, wasn't it? Poor defensive, uh, defensive play from us as Chilwell gets done by McBurney. And uh, it's not ideal that the first highlight appears to be Scotland coming at us. Can we get a block in here somewhere, please? Boys, Ollie Burke. Ward Prowse. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a goal that is. And we're 1-0 down early on. We'll give them a berating. But that is not the start we wanted. Now, we did, of course, fall behind against Ukraine and then respond well to that. I don't even know if you can blame Pickford. That's just a stunning goal, isn't it? And you've got to say, if that is the goal that sends us home, <laughs> it's difficult to argue against it. There's not much we could do about that. The berating appears to have worked. We'll go back to encouragement. Um, but early signs here are that this isn't necessarily working for us. So let's lower the tempo down. Um, actually, no, let's not lower the tempo, but let's just look to exploit the flanks. That's where we've got uh, a lot of our talent. Here we go with Grealish. Speaking of talent, in there for Kane. Kane to Henderson. Henderson wide for James. Can he get a ball in? He goes back for Henderson. Jordan Henderson hits the post. Scotland's one went in and England's one hits the post. But promising signs there. At least we look to have a threat, don't we, in wide areas. So that's good. Harry Kane, we need him to stand up today, don't we? He has been terrible this tournament. He's not played well. Here we go with Jack Grealish. He has looked good when he's played. Grealish has a go, and that is simple-ish for McCrory in goal. And promising signs that the game appears to be... Well, we look like we're slightly on top here, don't we? Ward-Prowse wins it back for us, and then gives it away. Um, 
Kane to Henderson. Henderson intercepts it. We've got Raheem Sterling getting forward. There's a lot of players forward with him. Raheem Sterling has a goal and Raheem Sterling belts it in. And it's 1-1 late in the first half. Raheem Sterling, a wonderful strike. I thought the goalkeeper had saved it. He could only sort of palm it into the top of the net, couldn't he? Henderson did brilliantly winning it back. Got it forward to Sterling early. I wasn't sure he was going to get there. He seemed to slow up and wait for them. And McCrory in goal will want that back, won't he? But that's not our problem. Let's demand more and see if we can go and get a, a go-ahead goal just before halftime. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. And a little bit like the game in the group stage. We've been the better team, yet we find ourselves at 1-1. Um, all right, so let's point our fingers, get back out there and grab the goal that wins it for us. Let's go with that. Ward-Prowse looking nervous isn't ideal. Let's see if we can win him back. No, we can't. We do have options, but none of them are quite as good over a set piece as uh, as Ward Prowse is. So that's not ideal. Henderson, can he win it back? Not on that occasion. Ward Prowse, no. But we're putting okay pressure. That's surely offside. Pickford's done a Pickford, but it is offside. All right, let's give them a focus up. <laughs> Pickford, stop getting the rave on, man. Here we go with Scotland coming forward. Both their central midfielders on a booking. Could we look to exploit that with a second booking at some point? Maguire heads it clear as he's done all tournament for us. Sterling comes forward again. It's tackled away. We should win that, shouldn't we? Ward-Prowse. Oh, it's not the best. James has been beaten. He gets back okay. Ward-Prowse is over there and we should get that away. Stones does. Grealish goes to close down Tierney, but still Scotland come forward. A ball into the box. Ollie McBurney. Oh, I tell you what. Both teams now have hit that post. And, well, we've not looked particularly good defensively or tournament. And let's be honest, we're not looking great here. So we're going to make a change. We're going to drop Henderson back in. If you can be a half back for me, I think that's probably what we want. Um, it's really harsh on... Maguire, well, who are you? Abraham, but we're going to take him off. We're going to bring on, where's Mason Mount? We're going to bring on Mason Mount. He can get back here, go box to box for us. And we'll try and drop Kane in as a deep liar and see if that works for us. And hopefully what this will do is just tighten us up a little bit defensively. Because as I say, we've not looked good all tournament. We haven't kept a clean sheet all tournament. We did, of course, concede two, didn't we? Against uh, Ukraine. And you get the feeling that if we can see two against Scotland, their defence is not going to be as forgiving. Let's give them some encouragement here. Are we going all the way to extra time? It's looking that way, isn't it? What else can we do differently here? Let's get rid of this. Let's just get rid of all of this and see what happens. Um, Ward-Prowse only playing a 6-6. Six, six. All right. Well, let's let's... Let's get him off and let's get Calvin Phillips on there then. Um, yeah, not ideal, but it is what it is. They've got more defensive as well. <laughs> Both teams are basically playing for penalties, aren't we? Um, it is going to extra time. Okay. Well, 1-1 one, one that is again. This Scotland team, now they did of course knock out the Dutch in the last round. They're, they're made of fairly stern stuff, aren't they? Let's, what do we say? Let's point our finger. Let's say it's time for everyone to dig in. We'll keep going with the fist pumping. We have faith in you. Uh, now, we've made two subs, haven't we? Do we get an extra sub? And do we take Harry Kane off? I mean, you, you, it's one of those. You just, you can't take him off. But he's not playing well. He's not played well all tournament. Um, all right, let's. Leave it at that for now. We'll get out there. And we've got an early highlight. Can we go ahead in extra time? Mason Mount does well. Back there for Grealish and Jack Grealish. Go on, Jackie boy. He gives us the lead right. Look at that. Early, early in extra time. The first minute of extra time. Jack Grealish is there. It's 2-1 England. We've turned it around. And Mason Mount has done very, very well here. Beat the tackle, got it back for Grealish. Grealish on his, well, that's his right foot, isn't it? Tucks it away. And it's 2-1.
Now, Scotland will have to, at some point, come out at us, and hopefully then we can pick them off for a second. We got a free kick. This is why we wanted Ward Prowse. It's going to be Reese James. I don't know if he can take a free kick. We're about to find out. Reese James. Oh, not a mile away. And the goalkeeper was just looking at it, wasn't he? Let's keep demanding more. Uh, we'll get to half time and extra time. We might make a, a freshening up sub. There's a ball in. Oh, Calvin Phillips has hit the post. All right. Uh, now, we can't actually make a sub at half time and extra time, can we? But I think what we might do is... We'll, get, we'll just get this going again. We've got a lot of tied players. So let's have a think. Okay, what we'll do, let's get... Do we bring on Sancho for Grealish? I, I don't know if we can leave Harry Kane on the field, can we? He's tied. He's not playing well. As a deep-lying forward, I don't hate the idea of playing uh, Deli Alley up there. So let's do that. Um, now, do we have another sub? Let's just do a test start. We do. Okay. Henderson is looking... T there's a lot of players looking tired, isn't there? I mean, it's extra time. Of course, there are going to be a lot of players looking tired. Let's leave it at that. The fact we're in front, what I'm thinking is that for a semi-final, we probably want Jaden Sancho, we'll go back to balanced, uh, to be fit you know, fit firing and ready to go. And well, that's not going to happen because Sterling is injured. Could we just put Trent Alexander? And no, hopefully we want him fit as well, don't we? We want him 100%. Uh, all right, Mason Greenwood, you can play out there. So let's... Let's... Oh, we don't have any more subs. We're down to 10 men. Don't we have another sub? I'm sure it said we had another sub. We don't. We've only... Have we, only, have we made four? No, we've only made three. I, Okay, well, this is subpar. Let me think about this. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is we're not going to have a strikeout. We're going to play with two wingers and then just look to get the ball out wide. So hopefully not having a winger will, will be okay. Actually, what we might do with him instead of playing him as a winger is maybe have two inverted wingers. So what we're looking to do is if one has it, the other one will kind of cut in. Um... And sort of hopefully in some way sort of provide width on one side, support on the other. But that's... Well, I'm sure I, I had another sub. But anyway, we're slowing it down now. We're just going to try and waste time. Let's go very defensive. And have we done it? We've done very well closing out that game. And we are going to the semi-finals. It took extra time and 10 men. But I think we've just about deserved it. And yet again, this tournament, Jack Grealish is the hero. He got two goals against uh, was it the Czech Republic, which, uh, to be fair, wasn't a particularly difficult thing to do on the day. But um, we got away with one there. No, let's go with that. Let's go with that. We need them to kick on for the next one. That hasn't worked at all, has it? So England win the European Championships quarterfinal. Um, it was, yeah, I mean, it was close, wasn't it? They certainly made it tough for us. And... Uh, bruised ankle were being tackled, so he should be fine. So that is a little three days, so that's fine. He should be, if not 100% fit, certainly close to it for that semi final. Jack Grealish is the hero. Kane, well, mate, we didn't win any thanks to you. You've got to be better. We've proved surprise package by beating Scotland. Okay, um, but there we go. We're going to the semi finals, and let's see who that game's going to be against. So there we go, another team that we drew 1-1 against in the group stage, and we will now face them again in the semi-final this time. Uh, Germany, Portugal will be the other semi-final. So it's going to be Germany in the final, isn't it? There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing surer. But I think we showed in the group game that we're, we're capable of beating Croatia. So that, let me know what you think in the comments. Will we get all the way to the final? We've got to be every chance, don't we? Of course, that's a replay of the World Cup semi-final as well. So it'll be a nice one if we could get a little bit of revenge for them for that. But that will obviously be next episode, guys. We'll be back for the semi-finals. We are now just two games away, aren't we, from being European champions. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time as we try to get ourselves into the final. Take care.